guys, Kirk from Time Machine Transport. Anyways, they opened the road here on I-80. Still, I'm just about crossing into Wyoming. I called the, uh, if you guys are ever in doubt, call the port of entry and talk to an officer, see what they say. You can see, I mean, this wind, I'm doing like 61, and I'm all the way to the floor right now. But as you can see, that, that, that oversize is just it's a big wind block, man. So it's like, I mean, I, I can't even imagine the amount of fuel I'm burning through right now, but they said wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour, so, and it seems like it's coming from the west, uh, either, maybe the, the uh, west or northwest, maybe, uh, so driving right into it is even worse, but I couldn't sit back at the, at Kimball and Nebraska anymore, I had to get out of there, man, I gotta, I gotta get this damn load taken off, man, so it's kind of risk and reward. Trust me, I'm not happy about burning through this type, this much fuel, but um, it's uh, it's coming through pretty good. So I just saw a guy pulled over in the E lane on the right hand side. Guy had a, a flatbed, he had a tarp, and the whole tarp was flipped over over the truck. Um, so I, I'd hate to be in his shoes, man, trying to be on the side of the road fixing a tarp, man. That would suck. So as bad as uh, having this oversized as a big wind block it's not as bad as this situation so but uh it shows that this is going to be like this i mean i would imagine past rawlins so rawlins is about halfway through wyoming on i-80 ish uh if not even wham sutter or uh even further west than that so i'll keep you guys uh posted but it's uh it's not like it, I mean I don't I don't think it's dangerous. It's just it's just you're, you're going so much slower. I mean I, I guess essentially it's it's dangerous because they said you have to have fifty thousand pounds. Uh, you have to be fifty thousand pounds or more to travel today, and I'm right at that fifty one ish, fifty two I think. Uh, and uh, but yeah I mean it, I'm going up. I'm doing fifty three right now, man. I mean that that's just the nature of the business, unfortunately, but. Well, uh, like I said, I, mean, I guess it is dangerous if you're under the recommended weight. But as far as the actual driving in the wind, it's not. It's just you go, you're going so much slower, um, and uh, you're, you're burning through a lot of fuel, man. I mean, it's like I would have to say, like it's double consumption of your fuel, man, when you're traveling in this kind of wind. So if you don't have to, don't travel. Um, I was hoping that this shit would have. Uh, went by this morning but I waited until uh, about one o'clock to move so I tried to wait it out but it, it doesn't seem like it's happening I'll keep you guys posted please like and subscribe to the channel ciao